oh wow, a regular YouTube video on this uh, completely normal <laughs> platform that totally doesn't censor people. Um, hey guys, Real American Politics here, back again with, um, you know, some cringe content that I had to make because, quite frankly, uh, Twitter and uh, YouTube are going full, uh, 1984 on this universe. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, two things happened. Uh, one affected me severely. The other one, yeah, it's probably gonna affect me, but meh, not really. So, if you don't know, uh, my Twitter got suspended for a week. Uh, because I made a joke about, um, uh, using the Second Amendment when, uh, someone's trying to burn down your business. Yeah, that got me, uh, terminated for a week on Twitter. We're 1984, boys. Um, <laughs> like, this is idiotic in itself, right? Like, if you're so offended by it, right, just say, hey, can you please, like, delete this tweet, and you'll be fine. But instead, nope, they're really like, oh, well, you probably offended someone that was probably an Antifa member, so we're gonna instantly get rid of you. So, um, yeah. Yeah. This is the timeline we live in, where I don't have a Twitter for a week. So, I made a quick alt. Um, go check the description down below. Go follow it. I know, I knew this was going to happen, but I never prepared for the day where I got pretty much suspended for a week. Because, um, Twitter's offensive about everything. So, yeah. It's, uh, kind of crummy, but what do you expect from Twitter in 2020, uh, yeah, 2020. <laughs> This year, that's been a dumpster fire. But that's not the main thing we're talking about, right? Just, that's my um, sad depression story, right, from the past week. Oh, no, 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 no. We have something more important to talk about. Uh, that's more important to me, right, than my Twitter account. Because, yes, my Twitter account's important, but it really doesn't compare to what's happening on YouTube. Because what's happening on YouTube... It's the first steps to full-on 1984 on steroids. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, YouTube just issued these new guidelines where pretty much in a nutshell, you can't uh, question the election at all. If you do, well, we're instantly going to delete your videos. That's not a joke. Um, I, I know, this may seem like we are in North Korea, but we aren't in North Korea. We're in the United States of America, and we have the biggest video publisher in the world saying, oh, you can't make this type of video, right? That isn't porn. <sighs> this is the universe we live in. I, I I don't know what what world we're living in at this point, but you get the point that YouTube is basically going full-on censorship mode on videos that question the election. And not, that's not the worst part. They would just delete videos that question the election itself. Oh, no, 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 there's more. If you question the election after January 20th, uh, yeah, you could get terminated. Boom, like that. You're done. That's not a joke. It's it's right in there that after January 20th, you will get terminated. Um, I don't know about you guys, but this is not a universe I want to live in. Where uh, these publishers get these special benefits and special protections... Where they can do whatever they want to censor people, to basically start fistfights on p politics. And by the way, did I forget to mention that um, they're also going to purposely uh, trend uh, big corporation channels on YouTube. Like, you know The Daily Show? Or um, whatever it's called. The Daily Night Show from Steven Crowder or whatever his name is. I know it's not Steven Crowder, but you get the point. But yeah, it, you know those shitty uh, late night shows? Um, that's what's gonna happen. They're just gonna start trending these more, alright? But actual content creators, uh, well, you're screwed. Now, this isn't right. They are basically saying, we're gonna choose who gets to succeed on YouTube, and the rest of you peons, well, sucks to be you. And this is where we need to do something. This is where I'm saying we need to finally fight back, because... They basically are saying that, oh boy, if you question us, we're instantly going to censor you, and you're never going to be seen again. Now, what are the possible steps that everybody could take to get these people, these companies, I should say, to wake up? Well, number one, we have the lawsuits incoming on Facebook about antitrust laws. 
Now, I think 48 states or so, they're going to be suing Facebook over anti uh, over antitrust laws. And I like this. They're actually fighting back. It's 48 states say no, this is antitrust laws should be affected on Facebook. And that's the first part, right? We got to break up these big tech companies. Uh, I know that those libertarians in the comments be like, well, actually, they're good for the uh, economy because um, Orange Man, I don't know, it's libertarian stuff. It's, it's, no. Big tech needs to get severely antitrust laws on them. Just severely broken up. Like, Google needs to be broken up. They should not be owning YouTube, right? Remember, Google owns YouTube, and they're censoring stuff on YouTube. What do you think they're going to do on Google eventually? Oh, they're going to block you from sense from uh, searching stuff. This is the universe we live in. And I've been saying this for a while, that we need to do something about big tech. And again, there's multiple ways. The first step is, of course, lawsuits, like what they're doing Facebook. But that's not enough. The second part is call your local representatives your congressman, etc., and tell them, we are furious with this. Why can't tech publishers, right, big tech, why can't they have First Amendment on their platforms? Why is it that they have, they could censor anything they want? It's a public place, pretty much, public platform, where anybody can get an account and say whatever they want. Why is it that some are getting censored, right? And again, the left doesn't care about this until um, they get censored. Right? You remember that from a couple weeks ago? Where uh, some Twitter accounts from the left get censored. Well, <laughs> that's why I'm telling people it's not going to stop at the Alex Jones types, right? From a couple years ago. It's going to everybody on the right side of the spectrum. Eventually, the only people that's going to survive are the neoliberals, right? Those cringe worthy, like, center left people that are just woke on everything. And the worst part is, right? It's just everybody's gonna get censored. Nobody's gonna speak, be able to speak their minds, right? And they're gonna basically put like a warning sign in every single one of your tweets, so nobody's gonna click on them. Twitter goes to shit, and that's what they want. We need to fight back. I'm telling people, call your local representative and congressman. Tell them we want you to do something about Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, especially YouTube. Now they're getting worse. Like, it won't stop at YouTube, especially with Google owning YouTube. What do you think Google's going to do? They're going to start censoring your search engine. They already are slowly. So, I'm telling everybody, call your local representative and tell them, we want to fight back against Google. Give us First Amendment rights on old platforms. Again, I know they're private publishers, but there's a difference between hate, like, straight up, um, hate speech, which, by the way, I don't think it should be, speech should be regulated at all, than just speaking your opinion. It went from, okay, maybe they're going a bit too far with, like, Alex Jones, right? That's, I disagree with it, but, meh, if it stopped there, I would be against it, but if it completely stopped there, I don't think anyone would be mad. Sure, they'd be mad, but still. But it did stop at, like, all actual, like, Alex Jones types, which, by the way, he should get his Twitter account back. It, it has gone to anybody right of the spectrum. So, really, eventually, it's just becoming a big echo chamber in Twitter. And that's why I do believe we need to do something with trust busting. We need to do something with First Amendment protections on platforms, right? It should apply. It's ridiculous that people are against this. So, yeah, if you um, follow me on my Twitter, I'll be pu uh, publishing a lot of stuff on how to fight back against the tech censorship. Because that's censorship what's happening now. It went from, okay, a few people that were, like, the Alex Jones type were, you know, getting kicked off the platform for saying stuff that, yeah, maybe they shouldn't, to anybody that's a conservative will be instantly banned. We need to stop that. The First Amendment should apply to all these publishers. So, yes, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, different style of video, this high-quality style. <laughs> Of a video production, and yes, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, hit the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, and yes, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.